Hey guys, Sindar here. Skyrim is a never-ending journey, it is huge, interesting to explore and always full of encounters. But the creature world of Skyrim definitely lacks two things – creatures variety and a good AI. Many creatures from Tess lore were completely cut from Skyrim, it lacks diversity and just could have much more. So if you want to increase Skyrim wilderness diversity, restore cut creatures or add a completely new ones, new enemies and bosses and make a general improvement of creatures AI in the game, you have opened a right video. So let's take a look. Skyrim Immersive Creatures is maybe one of the biggest mods ever made for this game in overall. It's just huge and gives a new breath to your game. It adds literally dozens of new creatures, cut creatures, new vanilla creature types and completely new ones, mostly low friendly, both regular enemies and bosses, and also greatly improves vanilla bosses. What makes SICK abbreviation of mod name so great is that it's not only simply adding new monsters or spawn points, it adds dozens of new gameplay mechanics and in-game events, so everything added by the mod is blending literally seamlessly into the game, so you would never think it's a mod. Ash Hunters Beast Races Skeletons New huge Black Reach Monsters Cave Giants Cliff Racers Daedroids Dramans Dreamora Lords Draugs Darzogs Dwarven Mechanical Dragons Fire Spiders, Goblins, Growls, New Dwarven Automatons and Ghosts, New Vampire Species, Ore Guardians, Completely New Soul Cairn Creatures, Spriggan Patriarchs, Swamp Corals, and even Recreated Storm Clock Giants. And trust me, I listed not even a half of them. Mod also drastically improves diversity of vanilla creatures. Just look on these armored skeletons, Draugr's variety, new types of spree guns, or diversity of trolls. As I mentioned already, creatures added by the mod have own life and instincts. You can see two predators fighting each other, wrigglings or goblins hunting the animals, goblin tribes fighting for the territory. You'll meet much more vanilla patrols and completely new patrols, as well as peaceful encounters and so on. Many enemies have unique fitting skills, Draugrs for example can summon rats, Skeletons have a chance to stand up again after you defeated them, Draugs summon mud crabs to aid them in battle and much, much more. What is even more great, mod has a comprehensive MCM when you can adjust literally everything, enable or disable some creatures you may like or not like, tweak the spawn system and encounters, adjust creature strengths and so on. Sky test, realistic animals and predators. This one is handling a completely separate part of gameplay. Skytest is a complete overhaul to creatures AI to make a wild world around you much more realistic, unpredictable and interesting. What is also good, Skytest has a separate so-called integration project that has patches for all possible popular creature mods and of course for all mods in this video. So this mod greatly improved AI will also work for mod added creatures. With Skytest, you will never face that silly creature's AI anymore. Just a few examples. The most dangerous and big creatures like saber cats or mammoths received realistic physics based on their size and weight. Saber cats can stagger you and maul you to death, and mammoths will simply ragdoll you if you come too close. Most of animals received realistic bonus to movement speed, so it is not so simple now to chase a deer and to escape a wolf pack, well, better try something else. The pack creatures will have a confidence bonus when they are in a large numbers and flee when most of them are defeated and only one or two creatures left. Most of smaller animals are now afraid of those who are much bigger, like of giants for example. Animals, at least most of them, are now afraid of fire, same as in real life, so if you will have to meet a pack of wild wolves at low level, maybe you won't have to fight them if you will carry a torch. But not all animals will be scared, so be prepared. 
you can see a proofs of a cycle of feeding chain here and there. And sometimes Predator and its prey, if it's not so weak, can simply gravely injure each other. Many of animals also will often have cubs within the packs. There are a lot of other rallies moments here and there. Bears, for example, will hibernate at winter. Injured animals will try to flee from you and so on. Beasts of Tamriel is a fresh and constantly updated creature mod that is aiming on adding dozens of creatures from the Elder Scrolls lore. The mod's main goal, aside from adding a more diverse range of fauna in Skyrim, is to also add as many creatures from the lore as possible and give player a truly wide range of prey to hunt and enemies to fight. Animals Birds Sea creatures, insects, new monsters, and new NPCs from various Elder Scrolls races. New Daedra. Giants and even Atronax Beast of Tamriel is fully covering Skyrim world, adding new creatures to each part of the game. Regular enemies, rare and much stronger enemies, mini-bosses, but also absolutely immersive peaceful creatures in wilderness and settlements, making a world around you much more alive and immersive. All creatures are added not only as static spawns, but also in leveled lists, so you will meet them all eventually. In addition, absolutely each creature can be toggled on and off in MCM menu to fit your taste. Do you want something really unique to face, like huge ancient Nordic sentinels, Dwarven Colossus, Maybe Iron Atronax? Harpies? Or Imps? And how about more than 100 of completely new enemies, both slow friendly and inspired by other games or even movies? Meet Mikhail Moss Creatures. He's maybe one of the most active Skyrim models nowadays, and when I'm saying there is hundreds of new creatures, I'm not kidding, just take a look at his profile. Cut, forgotten, and often absolutely unique regular enemies and epic bosses with unique skills and custom animations. Some are lore friendly, some are definitely not, but one scene about Michael Moss that is clear, if you want some new, challenging, badass and sometimes even terrific combat experience, give his mod a try. Some of creatures and bosses will simply make you say, wow, that was something completely new and badass, I want more. Besides the regular spawns, you can meet new creatures in different situations, for example, as mini boss guardian of quest NPC or a summoned minion of a mage. This mod author is also very chill and communicative and open for more suggestions. The only, if we can say so, flaw of his mods is that they all are separate, so if you like them all, you will need a lot of free ESP slots in your lot order. But on the other hand, that's actually not a big problem as all his creature mods can be easily merged in one mod using simple tools like merge plugins. But well enough words, and let's give a video a chance to tell for itself. Enjoy! And remember, Mikhail has so many creature mods that it would be simply impossible for me to show them all in one video, so be sure to check them all in his profile.
Now, with all that new and restored creatures, new bosses, improved AI and everything else, our global creature improvement for Skyrim is almost complete. We just need to polish it a bit. And the mod called Real Wildlife is the best candidate for that purpose. Real Wildlife is all about variety and diversity. It combines most of wildlife creatures and divides them by age, strengths, health condition and so on, resulting in almost 500 of creature variants and, in addition, dozens of new diseases, cooking and alchemical ingredients and so dozens of new food and potions you can make and overall immersion details. All animals can have different age like young, juvenile, adult, mature and so on. Depending on this, their size, strength, speed and amount of loot will depend respectively. Hunt dozens of deers and elk types and face much more bigger variety of predators. Meet wild horse herds in Skyrim wilderness. Notice non-aggressive critters in towns and cities. And of course, see a background description for all new features at loading screens. Real Wildlife is a great lightweight mod to be installed on top of your existing creatures mod pack to make it even more diverse and immersive. That's all for today, folks, and I hope you enjoyed the showcase and found something new and useful. Feel free to write your own favorite mods to improve Skyrim creatures variety or suggest what video I should make the next. Be sure to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always stay in touch. If you want to support my channel directly to help me keep making qualitative and informative content, check out my Patreon page. Thank you for watching guys and stay tuned. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.